Hi guys, it's Karen with Love Your Land. And I'm having a choking fit, so hopefully I can get through this take five. Um, okay, so we are in my kitchen, and this lovely area is my grow space. These blinds are always up, but for video purposes, obviously I've closed them. Um, and what I'm gonna be showing you is how I set up my grow room. It's a grow space, it's not a room. I mean, it's a room, but anyway. Um, I'm gonna show you what, how I set mine up, and I'm gonna tell you the different products that I use and whatnot. Um, but you don't have to use any of these particular products. That's not really the point of this. The point is more um, just that the needs of the plants are being met by what I'm doing. So you can do everything I'm talking about here um, in an improvised fashion if you are handy. And I'm not really, so I just buy stuff. Um, the first thing that I'm going to be doing and not to make too much noise, is I'm going to be setting up my lighting. We have eight hooks up here in the ceiling that we put in, um, you know, what, years ago when we got these lights, and they just stay there year-round. And then when I, I'm done with this grow space at the end of May or beginning of June, we just take the lights and the hooks and everything down and store them in the basement. So it is that time of year to hook these back up. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. If I fall, please call 911. So I have a little step ladder, which barely reaches where I need to go, but I will make it there without falling, so don't worry, okay? <laughs> Here we go. done <laughs> that's not even the hard part um so i you i'm not sure what i'm editing out of this but um you might have seen that i kind of got a little bit confused as i was setting them up and that's because it's kind of hard to tell when you're looking at the ceiling where these like which the hook lines up with what so anyway doesn't really matter but now i will show you this too this is the only one i'm plugging in for now as you can see i have these guys lowered these guys lowered right down onto these plants. So I had to uh, fish them through these bars here, this one and this one, so that they could be lowered all the way down because you want your lights to be like a couple of inches from the top of your plants. Um, they really have to be that close. And I'll show you uh, in a little bit here where I have a situation where that, that doesn't really happen and it's a little bit of a problem, but I, it resolves itself. So also these have, as you can tell, these are on a pulley system which is the other reason that I love the, these lights. And these are made by Hydro Farm. I got them at Way to Grow in Fort Collins years ago. Well, maybe like four years ago. Um, and I think they were $40 a piece. So they're probably something still, still um, in that price range. So the next thing I'm gonna do is set up my other grow rack. This little one here pretty much stays here year round. I don't even bother taking it down because, I wish I turn this off, because um, I'm always trying to grow something in there. So maybe it's just a little pot of basil or whatever. And sometimes there's nothing in there except for supplies, but um, I, we, we just keep it here. And that one was about $40, again, about four years ago. And then I got this one, which I'm gonna put together here in a second, about uh, two years ago, I think, three years ago. And I think it was $75. So um, not terribly expensive, but still some, some um, cost considerations. And so I'm gonna start setting it up, here I go.
I am going to need some coffee when I edit this. Let me tell you what. <laughs> you will not see everything that just went into this. For one thing, when I got to here, when I was setting this up, these were in the way. So I had to take them all the way back down. Just these two. Anyway. So that's the majority of that. Um, these do go on top, but um, I just don't really need them right now and I'm, I'm just not going to bother with it but they go on top and they do sort of sturdy the structure a little bit more one thing I forgot to say right off the bat down here on the floor uh, we've put down plastic and um, it's like double triple quadruple layered I think and then it's taped onto the wall with uh, like painters tape or that blue stuff because this is real wood and even though I'm you know I'm not like a sloppy water or anything stuff still happens so I would highly recommend that you protect your floor so then the next thing that I will set up is, um, oh, it looks so cute right now. The next thing I will set up is um, my grow dome. This is quick, don't worry. Um, and what I do is I start my seedlings, seeds, I should say, in these tiny pots. Okay. These are, pro I think they're like a dime a piece at garden centers. They're very inexpensive. This little dome system was $40. So what I do is when I start my seeds, and I'll do a separate video on that, but I put all these little guys in there. I, this will be filled. And um, you put the dome on. These domes are seen better days. They're pretty dirty. Um, you put the little dome on it, and then you put this light right here. And it also has these little vents. I keep them closed until the seed until the seeds sprout and then once they've sprouted I open them like a uh, fifth of the way I think um, but this little light um, I can't plug it in right now because I don't have any more plugs <laughs> that's a good reason but they um, it as you can see this light is what six or seven inches from my my where my little pots are and where the little seedlings are going to be when they finally sprout so that's really too far away for them to utilize that light uh, again it needs to be like this um, but what this light does do in the meantime is it, it it does get a little bit warm so it acts as a little heater for the seeds while they're trying to sprout germinate um, and then once they get about this big as you can see here these were in one of these domes all of this was but when, yeah, you just saw it last Friday, actually. Um, once they get to be, you know, little guys, then I take this light off, this dome off, and I bring them real lighting. I mean, this is the same bulb, actually. It's a T5 bulb, but I, they actually get two sets of lights here, um, and then bring them right down close to the plants. And actually, I only have these like this for aesthetic purposes, but really when I turn the camera off, the light is going to be like this because these are higher than these. So I will actually aim this end of the lighting down onto that. So that's basically my whole setup. Uh, some little parts that I have or, you know, supplies. Um, definitely when I go out to the shed to start gathering stuff up, I go ahead and go and get my big pots because I used to, and I've told you guys this before, but you might be new here. I used to go from these little guys into, I don't want to crawl down there, but smaller pots, maybe like this big, and then transfer them again. I mean, transplant them again into these pots. And it's just, it's just unnecessary. Um, and I will, again, I'll show you that later on. But um, so to recap, what you're going to need for your own grow room is you're going to need probably some kind of racks or a table or the floor. If you don't have like cats, they're going to get into them. You need lighting. You really do. I've said it before. This is a south facing window. When I open these, it's like so bright. It's unbelievable, but not to the plants. The plants are not getting enough light. Um, you need pots. You need, what else do you need? Uh, I use this. I showed you this in another video. I use this for watering little bitty seedlings when they're kind of like just barely out of the seed stage. And then after they're, um, you know, once they're this size, I will fill this can up and let it sit on the counter to get to room temperature because I don't want to shock them. I don't think that's really necessary, but that's what I do. And then I'll just water these little guys with this can. And then once they are 
big plants in those big pots, then I switch to a gallon jug, an old milk jug, and do that. Um, I also keep my soil. Well, I have a little, this is a little bin of trifecta mixed into it. But I keep my soil in the infamous green bin. You guys have probably seen that before. And I do believe that's it. Yeah, got my trifecta. I have everything I need right here in this little space. Someday I will have a greenhouse, but it's just not in the cards at this exact moment. So um, for now I do this. Um, if you have any questions, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I just can't think of it. But if you have any questions, um, just let me know, post a comment below or better yet, go to Facebook and interact with me there because then you really get the conversation going. If you're wondering what this is, this is just a sheet, they call it, of these um, little single cell things that you might want to start like a lettuces or spinach, things like that in them. Um, this whole sheet is 89 cents and it comes with, I think there's 72 cells in here. So you just break them apart and then they're in these and I can put these in here with the other seeds that I'm starting and um, you know, start a whole bunch of whatever. So I think that's it. <laughs> I'm going to go get some coffee and edit this and uh, hopefully shrink it down to really a, you know, succinct short video for you guys. But I wanted to get it all in there, so I think I did. Anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I told you guys I'd do a close-up of some of this stuff, and so that's what I'm doing. Um, in particular, these are the seedlings that I kept pointing at. You couldn't really see them there. Um, but as you can see, they're not very big, but they're big enough to be... <clears throat> excuse me, to be out of that dome and needing um, real lights right on top of them. So that's why they're um, out of there like that now. And these, of course, are the radishes looking fine. And this, these are the little pulley jobbers that come with those lights. And when you, when you push on these little tabs, um, you can lower these down um, or alternately, probably and more likely, you're going to be pulling these up right here on with this one and it'll raise the light up so that's really uh, why I love those that lighting system and then this is a better shot of the rack the big rack itself and as you can see there's one two three four I'm missing a rack that's okay there's four sets of racks here um, and what I end up doing once the plants get real big the tomatoes in particular is this particular I keep saying particular this shelf or these guys they come out and so then the tomatoes can sit down there on this one it's hard to see i know there's all these grids um but they have they have a you know like this whole section <laughs> i'm like a giant they have this whole section so they can be you know three feet tall basically and then the other the other big ones will go up here and they have all the way to the ceiling if they want to although i'm pruning so that's it Talk to you guys later. Bye.